Grammy winners who amongst them have actually won three of them with Shakti and Rakesh Chaurasia ji has won two Grammys this year, 2024. So, this group Shakti is a phenomenal one and uh, Ustad Zakhar Hussain, we are missing you, sir. Ustad ji, we are missing you. But to have all of them here, from the far corner, the renowned violinist brothers, Ganesh Kumresh, so Mr. Ganesh Rajagopalan, who's flown in all the way from Seattle for us to be here with us. Uh, if you heard of Vikku Vinayakaram, then that's the pedigree that follows. So from the Ghatam to the Kanjira, the son has immortalized the Kanjira. If the father did, where what the father did with Ghatam. So Selva Ganesh ji, thank you very, very much. And I'm going back to many years ago. I uh, shouldn't have said that, but yes, I first met him in college and I was an MC and he was performing. And there were others who said, and I remember Vikku sir telling me, that's my son. And he's not playing the Ghatam. But whatever he plays, people will remember the Kanjira. That's what he's done. So, fantastic. And I hope Vikku sir gets well soon. Thank you very much. Rakesh Chaurasia ji, aapka bahut bahut abhar. Thank you very much for doing this. Now, he is getting into compositions and into the realms where many would not want to go. But as a flautist, he's taking another karana, another legacy forward. That's from his uncle, Hari Prasad Chaurasia ji. So, the entire lineage, phenomenal. And he's a genius who, from the f age of four, has been making music and mesmerizing audiences. From the age of four, his first professional concert, and I think he's got a recording of that as a gift recently, <laughs> was at the age of 11. He can play more than 20 instruments, but we all know him, the man with the golden voice and the magical compositions, the one and only Shankar Mahadevanji. <clears throat> Gentlemen, thank you very, very much. Sabse pehle, let me ask you, Ganesh ji, what is Bharat for you, if I may ask you? Bharat is Shakti. Bharat is Shakti. Shakti. <laughs> Why do you say that? Out from there. Are you, uh, <laughs> you try to steal her, but I'm going to push you over her. I'm going to ask you why. You know, I think uh, as, you, as you have rightly named this conclave as rising Bharat, I mean, we are rising in all spheres and uh, Music is one that you can see here, and uh, even otherwise, uh, we see that Bharat is the next hope for humanity. So I feel, that is why I'm saying Bharat is the Shakti of the world. It's the Shakti of the world. Yeah. Are we making the music of Bharat its Shakti? Selvaji, let me ask you this. When you play the Kanjira, you connect with people. When you play music, when we play classical music, and music gets interpreted. So. Are we connecting? Are, is the world connecting with Bharat's music? Oh yeah, for sure. You, you already introduced like you know four Grammys, but there are five Grammys from India, so Bharat is already like you know <laughs> noticed, and also like uh, two other Indians also nominated, and and our like you know beloved uh, Prime Minister also nominated. So Bharat is like you know. You can see it, you can feel it. But do you see a change? You know, one of my other good friends, Ricky Cage was part of the nominations. He's won Grammys a lot of times, so shout out to him too. But uh, let me ask you this. Do you feel over the years that you've played, concerts that you've gone to, is there a, a greater appreciation for what Bharat brings to the table when it comes to music? Yeah, for sure, definitely. It is, uh, it is definitely a friend right now. And especially me, if you ask me, like, you know, I follow the footstep of, like, you know, the three legendary musicians. One is my dad. Uh, one is John G, John McLaughlin, and Zaki Bai. So whatever they do, they just do. They don't look for what we are going to get it. And they give the 100%. That's the Bharat. Like, you know, we give our 100% to music, hmm. which we definitely have to do that. Hmm. Rakesh ji, when was the last time or the first time, let me ask you that, that uh, Hari Prasad Chaurasya ji said, Achha kaam kiya. Jab Grammy jeete to, to what did he have to say? Well, it was never. <laughs> that's okay. It's because never. maybe he's expecting a lot from me. Huh. That's, I think that's the sign of a greater guru, you know, uh, not to compliment. And then talk about your student with other people, you know, he's doing good. So, so this has happened, that he doesn't say anything to you but to... No, no, but the, the, the world is around, it comes back to me. <laughs> I think he was praising you. That is, you know, my energy to keep me on my toes. So what was his reaction when you told him that two Grammy jeete? Areva. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was it. That was it. So, but did he, he like was, he, were, 
little uh, confused. Why two for the same album? <laughs> so I said, this is a different category. Oh, what is category now in album? <laughs> so uh, I had to make him understand one for the song and one for the album. So this is, uh, it was, I think there was three nomination and we got two. One was for the composition also. Oh, fantastic. So, oh, yeah, yeah, correct. There was a no nomination for the, comp uh, yeah, for the composition. composition. But I think it's all his blessings and uh, whatever I am today because of his. And as you mentioned, what is Bharat? Bharat for me is a breath, you know, what I blow in my flute. Hmm. It's a breath. It's breath. What an answer. Bharat for me is breath, what I blow in into my flute. Phenomenal. And, yeah, and you're communicating that. 25 years with Shakti, sir, for you. And the first Grammy comes via voice note compositions. Tell yeah. us to take us to that story. How did it happen? This whole thing, the album that won the Grammy, it was via voice notes. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, this album, it's uh, the way it happened was very amazing, Anand. It all happened during the peak of COVID, you know, because we tour so much. We used to do, uh, you know, 20 concerts in 30 days and all over America, all over Europe, all over India, we were continuously traveling and then we, we were like almost getting withdrawal symptoms that we are not able to travel. So we have to do an album. And it, nobody can move out of the house because of uh, COVID. So the way this album happened was completely remote control. Zakir Bhai was from San Francisco, uh, uh, Selva Ji, Ganesh Ji from Chennai, Seattle, from, uh, uh, I was from Mumbai and uh, John Ji from Monaco. All of us recording files going up and down on a server, you know, bars being exchanged, comments, emails, emails, mixes. Oh my God, by the time the mix got over, it was a, I mean, what a process it was. But when we heard it, we said, yeah, I mean, we've cracked something that is, you know, almost next to impossible. So this was your studio album for Shakti after how long? Uh, 46 years. After 46, 46 years. years. <laughs> this, this band is 50 years old, by the way. We jumped into the bandwagon about 25 years back and we are lucky to be the ones who got the Grammy. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to put all of you in the spot a little. <laughs> By the way, I'll tell you all that if this guy wouldn't have been a television anchor, he would have definitely been a musician. Oh, Dilka musician ye wo. That is what Anand Rana. Sir, wo note mera thik se lagta hai hai. Isi kabhi kaale ki gaya hai Sir, koi to note lag hai na, to that's fine. <laughs> Okay, now what I'm going to ask you is, tell me something special about Ganesh Ji's music. Why is he who he is? And why is he part of Shakti? Okay, I'll tell you something. We are in the middle of Europe in a completely non-Indian atmosphere. Complete foreigners in the audience. This gentleman, only one Tanpura is playing. No other instrument. He plays Abhogi Rag for about a good 10-12 minutes, nothing else, we are all sitting quiet. He plays that, just his instrument and the Tanpura, that's all, and he gets a standing ovation. So that is what Ganesh Ji is all about. So these are, you know, these are musicians, melodic musicians, who don't need too many notes to prove themselves. One note and it goes straight into your heart, it's like that. You like that? Uh, so, I cannot talk like that. You better talk nor some nice I things I about me huh, when you ask it <laughs> Nor can, I mean, I cannot talk like that, nor can I sing, but thank you, Jankarji. <laughs> so, now from a person who's a master and maestro at string, now do you talk about somebody who's a maestro at percussion? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, oh, now I know the game. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, so, okay, Zakir Bhai is more like uh, um, a brother and uh, mentor, guide, friend, he's lots of that. And uh, we, I, I'm, I'm very lucky to be, you know, even partnering with Zakir Bhai. And I just interrupt with. all of us over here because of this man called Ustad Zakir Hussain. Let's have a loud round of applause for Ustad Zakir Hussain. <laughs> Sorry, continue. Yeah, it's true, actually. So, um, that's, uh, that's what Zakir Bhai is for me. And as he said, for all of us. And uh, Selva Ji, he's, uh, we have been childhood friends, you know. We know each other from when we were like, like, like this. But we have so, 
<laughs> uh, you have to hold the mic. You are older, huh? <laughs> yeah, we are not, uh, not, the, not the same age. You are not the same age, no? Yeah, he is older. <laughs> okay. He is older. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you for what. I'm a grandfather. In that case, I'm older. Uh, okay. Um, so, uh, we have, we have uh, played together and I've been fortunate to be playing with his dad, uh, Vikku Mama, and uh, toured quite a lot. And both of them have uh, played together and, uh, I mean, like, Vikku Mama and him, myself and Kumaresh, we have toured a lot. And it's always a pleasure because he's my go-to guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's just fun just being with him because he's, he's very, very affectionate. And a very lovely person to be with. So, mm. Oh, in that town, always. You, you didn't talk about my play. So now, the, what was that last one? No, in that town, always. Now respond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Uh, you yeah, respond on what? Respond the huh? bowl. On the bowl or on the bowl? Oh, okay. That town, that town, that town, that that town, that that Now, Selvaji, let me ask you. You've played with Hari Prasadji also, but at a time when your father was also there, I know there were butter butterflies in your stomach and all of that was there. Yeah. Then when you first played with Rakesh Ji, yeah. was that, ki, let's see how good he is. I don't know. So it was the same feeling like when I played it, uh, with uh, Hari Ji and whenever I played with him too. And recently we did a concert too. Like, you know, I mean, he's not just the amazing, it's a very tough guy on stage too. And off stage too. Uh, I mean, uh, but with some unbearable dirty humor. jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could have said only joke. Joke, sorry. <laughs> dirty joke dirty to picture bhi hoti hai. Okay. joke bhi But yeah. yeah. No, the thing is, like, uh, not just the classical music. Even if it is a fusion, and uh, if it is even one of the shakti, uh, uh, like I would say, like a best. One of the like, you know, best uh, lotus feet. I think this man can definitely play that tune without like you know lagging or because it's very tough. It sounds easy, but to form with the for, like you know chord formation, everything. I've heard him so many times like you know playing lotus feet, and I said like, oh my gosh, this guy is amazing. And of course, Ariji also played the same tune in uh, Remember Shakti first album in 1999, mm. if I'm not wrong. Yes. So that was the first Remember Shakti when they started. So Ariji actually, Ariji and my dad played, and uh, the same tune in Bangalore, like, you know, we both played it. So father, father, son, son, whatever you call it. So this guy is amazing, seriously. And I, I was lucky enough to, you know, with uh, Zakir Bhai and Ganeshji was performing in Aji Vasan with John G. And I was sitting in the audience and suddenly he told me to come on stage and play this piece in Lotus Feet. Huh. <laughs> so they suddenly asked you to come out and play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. So, if he were to suddenly ask you, sir, if your flutes are coming here, then you can listen to us and listen to us. Yes, why not? He comes to me. He comes to me. Do you want to listen to him? Yes. Huh? So, you have to cheer him. You have to. Sir, where are your flutes? Where are you? Where are you? So, I have to say that 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 so, ma'am, you've got to help us out. Yes, suddenly, I thought that because all of these people do all the hands and the hands. You have the hands. So, until the hands don't come to your hands, how do you say it? Yes, you don't have to play at home. You have to play at home. So, it's better to practice it. Okay, by then, please tell me why something special about this person here. He's a monster. Huh? Why? When it comes for singing, when it comes to find, finding cuisine. Hmm. But Google me ja ja ke kon dhunta hai ki is shahir ka sabse achha cuisine kon sa hai. And then he takes everybody there. Chalo udar me dhunda hai, ye baut badiya khana hai. But he's, uh, it's very difficult for this kind of combination. Amazing artist and amazing human being. 
you know, very friendly. Very yeah. friendly. Yeah. Everybody also no, no. says something yeah, about yeah. Ganesh. He was saying about like, no, I'm not going to leave. Yeah. No, Shankarji was saying about uh, Ganeshji playing just the, uh, uh, I mean, no, Rag Abogi with the uh, Tambura. Just imagine most of the concert, not too many notes. He will do one top note sustained. Like, you know, I mean, this happens like, you know, every concert when he does that. Before he finishes it, he gets the standing ovation. Before he stops that one tone which stays for more than, I don't know, we can't, we can't even count it, like how, how long he is sustaining, like, you know, that's enough. Sir, he's the man who's done breathless. So to sustain it at one breath is not going to be no, difficult. I, I do agree that, but it's all a different notes, right? Ah, People correct. can, like, oh, so many notes, but one note sustain and he gets a standing ovation. So let's yeah. listen to Rakesh ji and then, no, no, and then we'll ask Rakesh ji to sustain, give him the note that he has to sustain. <laughs> Oh, I like, but I'm enjoying this mutual admiration club, huh? <laughs> Chali, I'll hold the I'll hold it. But I, no, 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 please tell me where to. Are may may hold karta hu na? Are aapko kya sochne ka kya zarurat hai kuch bhi? Pashto hi bajaiye. Aap log bajaiye kya bajao? Any lotus feet, lotus feet ya pashto? Dono mein se whatever you choose. Ha. Pashto to he won the Grammy this year. Fantastic. Sir, you have to do a note, sir. No, 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 Come up and Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the one and only Shankar Mahadevan, Rakesh Chaurasia, Selva Ganesh, Ganesh Rajagopalan. Do you want to hear more of them? Do you want to hear more of them? Ladies and gentlemen, if I remove this, their instruments are ready. It's going to be a grand Grammy winner's performance right here on the Rising Bharat Summit. We just need to give them 25 minutes to set up so this stage is clear and the stage is all theirs and they will be joined by the one and only king of jazz in Bharat, Louis Banks, his son Gino Banks, the phenomenal percussionist Ojasadia, 
and of course the bass guitarist Sheldon De Silva. It's going to be a phenomenal lineup along with these four in a short while from now. Are you ready? I love the spirit. Let's go. Big round of applause for them. Thank you so much.